Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Today is January 2nd, 2021. Today we're back in Baltimore to do the third of our reservoir rides. So today's ride is the Liberty Reservoir. So you can see the map on the screen. This is the longest of the three rides. It's about 70 miles and you can actually see some water already unlike uh, the pretty boy reservoir we barely saw any the whole ride uh, i think you know the lock raven reservoir most of the ride was around the actual reservoir which is cool pretty boy you cross over the water at one point and that's about it and then this ride also i don't i think we're going to start around lock raven reservoir and then kind of get away from it and we'll cross over the Liberty Reservoir at some point down the road. But I don't think we'll see a lot of water the whole time, although it's already pretty here. And I actually just put up on the channel uh, the first day of my road trip. And I gotta be honest with you, I was really bummed with the footage. Uh, you know, I shoot in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and, you know, once I make a video and I watch it on my laptop, it looks fantastic. I mean, it's crystal clear, but, you know, once you upload it to YouTube, their algorithm kind of crunches it down, compresses it, and what I find is, ooh, that wasn't good, what I find is the compression uh, really degrades the quality and for most of my rides which are you know usually on tree-lined roads it has a real hard time um, with the trees you know they're always pixelated grainy really reduces the quality of the video and I've been doing research to figure out like what can I do to prevent that and when it comes to YouTube's compression there's only so much you can really do um, what we're trying today is to reduce the frames per second from 60 to 24 and my understanding of what that will do for the video like if I'm watching it in crystal clear footage on my computer you know as we're passing things they'll look a little blurry like they would you know out of the naked eye uh, whereas 60 frames per second makes things more clear than they would be otherwise um, and my hope is that by reducing the frames per second, reduce the amount of data in the file, and maybe YouTube's algorithm won't crunch it up so much that, you know, as we're riding by trees, it doesn't become a, an ugly mess. You know, I, I want you guys to see what I'm seeing as much as possible. Uh, I've also played around with the camera on my chin to really try and get a good view of the bike so you can see the tank and the dash and above the dash. You know, I, I don't want, you know, when, when I film some of my videos on the Challenger so far, I haven't gotten the camera quite right. And I don't want you to just see above the dash. You know, I want you to see it all. I want you to know as soon as you look at the screen, you're on a motorcycle. It is what it is. Uh, so far in my vlogging experience, everything about my setup, it's a constant work in progress. Still working on my microphone. Uh, you may, you may be hearing a lot of wind noise right now because for whatever reason my helmet keeps fogging up, my visor, even though I have my pin lock on. My sunshield is always fogging up, so I've got to get some air into the helmet to clear that up. It's also a pretty windy day, so you might be hearing a lot of that. I don't know. I won't know how the sound comes out until I actually get home and start editing. Sometimes the, the audio is okay, sometimes it's terrible. So consistent audio quality is an ever-present challenge in doing this. And then there's also the issue of, you know, when I put music on, the balance between the music and my audio. But we will keep working on it because I'm going to keep writing and filming so I'll have plenty of practice. 
It's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's in the 50s. It's mostly sunny. Unlike uh, my ride down to uh, Point Lookout, or Lookout Point, whatever it's called, was frigid. Today has been absolutely fantastic. And it takes me about an hour to get here from the DC area. And I flew up the Baltimore Washington Parkway and you know, it was fine. I can still feel my toes. So that's a good January day for riding. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna film the ride. I'm gonna put on some lovely YouTube music. I'll show you the best parts. As always, you can find the map and GPS coordinates on my Google Drive page. I'll put the link down in the video description below. Oh, one other thing that's hard about balancing all the different audio inputs is I always want you to hear the motorcycle. Sometimes I have more success than others, but I never want it to just be the music because then you won't hear the engine. And you can't do a moto vlogging video without hearing the engine. This is just unacceptable to me. I would rather do a whole video with no music whatsoever and just silence and, and hear the engine. So. <laughs> I'm not even sure this was supposed to be the ride. I might still be on a detour from my foolishness. But I dig it. Really dig it. This is an amazing road. Already, look at this. This is cool. Super windy. Not like uh, day two of my Blue Ridge Parkway ride. That was suicidal winds. These are like 20 mile an hour gusts.
actually looks like snow on the ground. It is. That's crazy. <laughs> Great. I'm already telling you this is a great ride. I can't wait to come back here and do Liberty Reservoir in the spring, summer when it's warm out. Oh my gosh. All these views would be amazing. The road is nice and curvy. I mean, this is, of the three reservoirs, the road on this ride is a, by far the best. Easily. No comparison. I think Lock Raven's actual reservoir views are really nice riding by that dam and all but let's be honest of the videos i film the rides that i do it's ultimately about the road like you could see nothing and still have an amazing time on some of mine That might be Liberty Reservoir down that way. You can't see it, but you can see it the blue on the map. It's way up here. The reservoir we saw to be, yeah, there it is. You can see it through the trees. The reservoir we rode by at the beginning of the ride was Lock Raven. There it is, look at that. Pretty. you can get a nice picture. Beautiful. I can say is we are coming back here for sure this is a great ride and had I been here before and be from you know if I was familiar with 
the route and where the tough curves are, you're flying through here. We're coming back several times. That's all there is to it. I'm just saying right now, we're coming back to do a summertime ride on Liberty Reservoir ride. I'm gonna film it again because it's just gonna be amazing. You can just tell. And the road itself is fantastic. Absolutely great. You know, this ain't any tell of the dragon and that's okay. It's just, it's a really fun ride. Hampstead, cute little town. You know, this part of the ride is just kind of eh. I don't need to see subdivisions. dirt and sticks and all this crap in the road and a truck behind me that's not good but I see why it's on the map for sure So we got about 7.5 miles left and it looks like we are coming in around another reservoir. Not even sure which one it is at this point. I think Liberty was the one where we crossed the bridge. I'll check. What's with the railing? Well, guys. We have uh, about three and a half miles to go until we're done with our Liberty Reservoir ride. I think the last body of water we just passed, it was actually Liberty Reservoir. Now I've got to go and check. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. As always, I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell and you'll get an alert the next time I put a video out. As for Liberty Reservoir Ride, uh, I would say easily the best of the three reservoirs around Baltimore. Uh, you know, Lock Raven was maybe a little bit more scenic initially when you're going around the reservoir and you see the dam. That's pretty cool. But as far as a road goes, this road was a thousand times better than either of the other two. Just outstanding. Uh, but I am absolutely itching to get back here when it's warmer out and redo this ride when it's green and lush and pretty. The road's fantastic. And I'll definitely be coming back this summer and I'll film that one too. But anyways, that's what I got for you today. I appreciate you watching. As always, stay safe out there. And I will see you 
next Friday. DMV Solar Rider out.